The team needs support, and I think it's my job to go out there and fill the seats and let people know that when they come to the arena, they're going to have a damn good time. 23 years ago, Mark Cuban made a bold promise to Mavs fans to win. And now, after consistent playoff appearances and a championship win, his role with the team takes a surprising turn. Just who is the billionaire woman who could be the new owner of the Mavs? We're learning more about Cuban's deal to sell a significant stake in the team and how all of this could lead to casinos and resorts in Dallas. CBS News Texas at 5 o'clock starts right now. This is CBS News, Texas. Boy, gaming in Texas has long been on the minds of some. A lot of people have been opposed to it along the right. way, too. Interesting what the future holds. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Doug Dunbar. I'm Nicole Baker. It's honestly what every fan, especially Mavs fan, are talking about right now. The change of hands and ownership. Mark Cuban, as we've told you, set to sell his majority stake in the Dallas Mavericks to billionaire Miriam Adelson. Our Jet Beecham and Steve Pickett both live with us today. Team coverage on the potential deal because it hasn't been consummated. But let's talk about what this could mean for North Texas. Uh, Jet, let's begin with you. The Adelson family specifically, they confirmed it. They're on record now saying, yes, we're working toward a deal here. Yeah. What specifically are they saying? Yeah, after nearly 24 hours of reports and speculation, the prospective buyers of the Dallas Mavericks, Miriam Adelson, and of course the Sands family that owns the casino, confirming today that they are intend to purchase a majority stake in the Dallas Mavericks franchise from owner Mark Cuban. Uh, Adelson and her son-in-law, Sands Corporation President and COO Patrick Dumont, released a statement today saying, in part, the Adelson and Dumont families are honored to have the opportunity to be stewards of this great franchise. Through our commitment and additional investment in the team, we look forward to partnering with Mark Cuban to build on the team's success and legacy in Dallas and beyond. The goal is to win and to have a team that proudly represents the greater DFW area and serves as a strong and valuable member of the local community. We believe that with this partnership and our commitment to the team, the community, and the fans, the future is bright for the Dallas Mavericks. Now, of course, reaction has been swirling, whether it's on social media or in person, since this news dropped really on Tuesday. Of course, we spoke to fans out here at the AAC to get their perspective on Mark Cuban sharing that majority stake. I was definitely shocked. Um, I feel like Cuban is a die-hard Mavs fan. Again, just like you said, he is at the games. He's side by side by the players, gets to know them, seems to have a really good bond with them. So um, it's definitely a shock. At first, I was a little bit shocked because I don't think I ain't never expected Mark Cuban to sell the Mavericks. But the amount of money that he sold it for, hey, I would have the same thing. I ain't gonna lie to you. I would have the same exact thing. But like I said, it might be a you know. Uh, hurt and love type of feeling, love and hate type of feeling. But at the same time, you know, the Maverick doing good. At the same time, he got paid. So at the end of the day, can't be mad at it. Now, the Adelson and Dumont families are hoping to complete this purchase by the end of 2023. While Mark Cuban is expected to maintain operational control, the families are expected to be governors and owners now of the franchise, guys. All right, Jet Beecham, uh, thank you very much, Jet. So let's talk about the elephant in the room now mm -hmm. for one second. That's the sale to a casino resort operator. This includes a whole lot of talk of a new arena, but that could be attached maybe to operations that we know are currently illegal here in the state of Texas. Yeah, so there's a lot of questions around this our Steve Pickett is picking up our team coverage from the AAC as well and and talk to us more about the casino resort being part of this deal Steve well it's not part of the deal officially there's obviously a whole lot of speculation when you're talking about who now owns the Dallas Mavericks in concert with the operations for uh, Mark Cuban. But uh, you talked about this arena and a possibility of a new arena. If you build it, they will come. You've heard that before, right? Well, in this case, if you buy it, what comes with it? 46 and a half. Uh, it may be a sure shot money-wise on the sale of the Dallas Mavericks, but no slam dunk on rolling the dice, if you will to build a new Mavericks arena in alignment with a casino resort. Here's why. Betting on the horses in Texas is legal. Hitting the slot machines or the roulette table in casinos like these is not. So what are the odds in this merge of the Mavs with prominent casino creators? It is a political gamble that Texas law would possibly change. Right, as of now, there is no authorization for casino gambling in the state. SMU political science professor Matthew Wilson. Texas already has a lottery. 
Texas already has uh, betting on horse races. So it's not as if the state is in principle opposed to gambling. Uh, and there's a lot of tourism dollars to be attracted by this. Right now, uh, Texas is losing money by residents who go out of state to Oklahoma, to Louisiana, to New Mexico for gambling. And so a lot of those dollars could be kept here in the state. You know, Texas is built on. There continues to be strong lobbying of Texas lawmakers for sports betting and casino operations. The city of Dallas is already making way for a new convention center on the south end of downtown. Cuban has said before a new arena should go there as well as part of an entertainment resort that offers what is prohibited right now. Casino gambling. And one big voice in this state against casino gambling is the lieutenant governor of this state who has faced time and again le legislative offers to provide it and he has shut it down. You heard the voice, a quick uh, hint of the voice from the former governor of this state who is now a lobbyist for uh, sports betting, online sports betting for the state of Texas. We asked the city of Dallas, uh, Visit Dallas, the tourism arm of this city, any reaction to this talk of not only the sale, but what happens for the city of Dallas. The only quote we received was from Visit Dallas, and I want to make sure I get it right and read it to you. It says uh, they support investment, support investment in attractions that will surely draw visitation to the city. That's vague, but specific in relationship to what's about to happen here. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS News, Texas. All really good points. Steve, thank you so very much.